Hello and welcome to the AirPro install channel. My name is Jesse and today we'll be covering the process of choosing and connecting the right steering wheel control interface for your head unit and vehicle. There are three parts we need. The steering wheel control interface, which is also known as a steering wheel control harness. The head unit ISO harness and the patch lead. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is jump on the AirPro website. It's airpro.com. Once we're there, on the left hand side we can use the what fits your car selector. Here you can choose the make, model and year of the car, so you can find the correct parts needed to fit your new head unit. In this example I'll be choosing a Holden Colorado 2013 RG. So once you've selected the car model you want, it'll take you to the car's info page. If we scroll down we can see the different AirPro products that are compatible with this vehicle. Over here, under the installation kits, we have the FP806 1K. The K means it's a complete kit, so it'll include all the parts you need to fit your head unit, including the steering wheel control interface. But for the sake of this exercise, we're going to only look at the steering wheel control interface. So further down the page, you'll see vehicle specific steering wheel interface. Here it says I would need a CHIZ2C steering wheel control interface, which is also known as a steering wheel control harness. This connects into the car where the original radio would have been connected into. And at the other end is the ISO connector, which connects to the head unit ISO harness. This is also referred to as the secondary harness. Now if we know which head unit we're installing, we can go to the top where it says fit your head unit and type in the model of the head unit that we're going to install. In this example, I'll be using a Pioneer AVH-Z5250BT. Now once you click enter on that, you'll have two options to choose from, retaining or not retaining the steering wheel controls. I will be retaining the steering wheel controls, so I'll have that selected. It'll then show you the head unit ISO harnesses that are required for this head unit, and it'll tell you which connector you need for your radio. It is recommended to choose the APP9 series harness, as this will include all the specific head unit ISO harness and patch lead that you need for your head unit. Otherwise, you'll need to select the head unit ISO harness and patch lead separately, which I'll explain a little later. First of all, let's start with the steering wheel control interface, the CHIZ2C that we have here for the Holden Colorado. This is what it looks like in its packaging. This is labelled as Step 1, which means it's the harness you need for your particular vehicle that you've chosen. So this is what the steering wheel control interface looks like. Each connector is different. This white connector connects to the car side and this connector connects to the head unit ISO harness. They only fit with the corresponding connector. Therefore, there's no chance of it damaging the car or the radio. This middle connector connects to this control module, which is pre-programmed specifically for this vehicle. So the module can translate commands from the steering wheel to your head unit. This is our APP9 series head unit ISO harness, which also includes our steering wheel control patch lead as I mentioned earlier. Now this is step two, and these cables are specifically for the Pioneer head unit that I put in earlier in the video. First out of the two, we'll have a look at the head unit ISO harness, which has the ISO connectors. And again, we'll only connect a certain way to the steering wheel control interface. At the other end has the radio connector, which is specific for this model head unit, the Pioneer that we searched for early in the video. You'll also notice that this harness has loose wires coming out from the connector. Now these are used for additional functions that the head unit might use, which I'll briefly mention. The blue or blue white wire is a positive output and is known as a trigger wire. The purple or purple white wire is a reverse positive input trigger wire. And the pink wire is the vehicle speed sensor wire or VSS. Light green wire or park brake is a negative input wire. More information on the wire colours can be found on our website and YouTube channel. The APP9 series contains both the patch lead and the APP8 head unit ISO harness, which are also sold separately. So now that we have the steering wheel control interface and head unit ISO harness, let's put it together. You should always start with the head unit connections and work your way back to the vehicle connector. Do not connect the steering wheel control interface to the vehicle before making the head unit connections, otherwise the steering wheel controls will not work. To ensure your steering wheel controls work correctly with your aftermarket head unit, you must follow these steps. We first connect the head unit ISO harness to the head unit. Then connect the patch lead to the head unit.
We then plug the other side of the patch lead into the steering wheel control module. The patch lead will only be able to plug into one side of the control module. Then connect the steering wheel control module to the steering wheel control harness. Then connect up the ISO connectors between the steering wheel control interface and the head unit ISO harness. Again, they can only go in one way and you'll hear a click when they're in securely. Once all these connections are made, we would then connect the steering wheel control interface to the vehicle as the final step. If you're unsure how to connect your head unit, you can see your particular head unit's manual for more details. So to recap the procedure, connect the head unit ISO harness to the head unit, connect the patch lead to the head unit, connect the other end of the patch lead to the steering wheel control module, connect the steering wheel control module to the steering wheel control harness, Connect the ISO connectors together between the head unit ISO harness and the steering wheel control interface. And finally, connect the steering wheel control interface to the vehicle. It is very important that this is the final step. Once this has been done, turn the car onto accessory and test out the steering wheel buttons. If you accidentally connect the harness in the wrong order and your steering wheel controls do not work, unplug everything, wait 60 seconds, and then plug everything back in following the exact same procedure we just went through. We recommend using an authorized AirPro dealer that offers an installation service to install our products. Never cut or modify a harness as this could damage the head unit and vehicle as well as void the warranty of the product. So that covers how to choose and connect the steering wheel controls. Hit the like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more videos like this one.